Hey, do you feel stuck? Do you feel like you're stuck in quicksand or treading water or not getting the goals that you want for this year? This episode is for you. We're gonna talk about how you ignite, catalyze, and generate momentum to go win not only this year, but even next year. Let's get started here at Stories from the River. Welcome to Stories from the River, a show in which we go behind the scenes at Broad River Retail. Welcome back to Stories from the River. This is your host, Charlie Maloof. Back in the summer series, we flipped over to a brand new month. We're already in August. I'm recording this on August 1st. This will publish on August 6th, 2024. This year, like this is typically the time when you say, gosh, summer is flying by and the year is flying by. And it is. We're a little bit past the, uh, the midway point. Last week, we had uh, an episode on leaving drift behind, how goals and standards can, can propel you forward. And then we talked about an Olympic mindset. We're here in the heart of the Olympics, you know, in Paris. And uh, it's been 100 years this, since Paris last hosted. So we're back in uh, the Par- Paris for the Olympics. And we talked about an Olympic mindset and how you can master your craft in business and in life with an Olympic mindset. And so back on this uh, series, this solo series, I thought we would talk about generating momentum and then maintaining momentum. So I got a two-part series for you on momentum. And like you, I've read a lot and listened to a lot of podcasts and a lot of leaders on momentum. Some people call it getting that getting mo back. Uh, we, we even have a you know a program, a platform in retail at Broad River called Mr. Mo, more right, more often. And you know, I love when you're you know, last week we talked about goals, and I love when you're just starting off on a goal, and it really de- determines what your trend is. What, where, where's your momentum? Are you trending in the right direction? And here's the thing why I want to talk about generating momentum. You know, I was looking at some of the, we, we, we're in what's called million dollar memory maker season. So we're, we're starting to have people cross the million dollar mark. And we had two million dollar Writers cross yesterday, and so you know I'll call and and see what you what's how you're doing. We've had four crossed already as of August July 31st. We might have a few more crossed by the time this this episode airs. But these are folks who have had who have sustained success for a long time at Broad River, and some of them are having their very best year this year. Now that's odd. And why do I say that's odd? You know, it's been a little bit of a challenge this year to to win. It's not been as easy as it was maybe when we had a lot more tailwinds in 2021 and in 2022 when you know the pandemic had some a bunch of stimulus monies out there and you had people stuck at home and everyone investing in home and our industry like is seemingly in, in home everyone's getting new furniture because they're tired of looking at the same furniture they had a little bit extra discretionary income and 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 so people were investing in their homes and had more dollars to spend and so uh, our, our revenues were up and maybe it was a little bit easier to generate those dollars last year, even if you were wearing a mask. And we've, I've had m- many, many interviews with our million dollar memory makers and experts of how they succeeded and excelled and thrived during the pandemic. Well, here we are in 2024 and what's, what's you know, the pulse of the economy? Inflation's up, housing starts are down, interest rates are up, discretionary income is down. And, and so it feels like it's a little, little bit of a drag. And but but yet but yet we've got some stores that are having their best year ever, and we've got some people on the sales floor who've been with us for many years who are having their best year ever, getting to a million dollars in written sales faster than than they ever have. And so, what gives? How can you generate momentum in a down economy? What does it take to run uh, upstream or to run against the current? To swim upstream or to run against the current uh, when when it's more challenging year when the you know deck seemingly stacked against you, and so I asked them like, what are you doing differently? And you, I mean, this is going to be a boring answer. It's really just doing more behaviors that they think they ought to be. For instance, if someone is having success with sales or with credit apps, their their position is, yeah, I'm just presenting the credit app every single time that I'm supposed to, 
Or if someone who has struggled with uh, selling sleep or our sleep products, what are you doing, doing differently? Yeah, I'm just doing more comfort tests. Those are behavior driven. They have made a, a commitment to say, hey, I, I'm not going to uh, accept where the economy is today. I'm not going to you know, be common. I'm going to be set apart and go upstream. And, and so it's possible. And you have to look at people who are people or companies or organizations who are generating momentum when it's not expected, when it's unexpected, when there's no other reason for momentum, when the rest of the tide is going one direction and they're going this direction. And so, yeah, and what it is, is it's a little bit that like you have to kind of make sure that you set yourself apart. Like I talked about last week, starting that mental uh, game, that Olympic mindset. Okay, you got to think differently. You got to tell yourself a different story. And, but then you just have to kind of get started and get going because it doesn't really matter where you are. It's just the direction of where you're going. It's just the momentum that you create. And it's just like what Jim Collins talks about with in Good to Great with the flywheel. It's tougher to get going in the beginning. It's tougher to push. But with that extra effort, you can get the momentum going. And, and like, okay, maybe you're not on pace for your yearly goals. I was talking to someone last night in our company and I said, man, you're really ahead of pace for a lot from last year. You, you weren't even at half a million this time last year, and you're already at a million dollars. And he said, well, yeah, I was a little bit you know, sick last year, but, but I still got a million dollars because I really turned it up, cranked up the volume this time last year. And so first of all, I want to encourage you, if you're not on pace for your annual goals, guess what? You can still go get, get your goals for 2024. It's not too late. August 1st is a great time to start. If you're caught in the drift of summer, it's not too late to get out of the drift. You got to have that white hot vision that excites you, that gets you up out of bed in the morning, and says, yeah, let's go after it. So you got to have a vision for your life that gets you really excited, motivated and pumped up. And, and then just start. Just try something differently than you tried before. It might feel a little bit weird, may feel like something you don't want to do or call a friend, phone a friend and say, hey, Help me, help me kind of get out of these doldrums. I'm, in, I'm stuck in the, like, feeling sorry for myself or the dog days of, of summer or I'm, I'm not going to hit my annual goals or, or we're not going the direction we want to go. Try something differently. It might just work. We just tried at retail, you know, trying to ignite something. We, we did a program called 75 Hard, which you've heard of like the, the 75 days, the wellness program called 75 Hard. You have to do something like two workouts a day for 75 days. I've not done that particular one, but, you know, Edie and Caitlin have done it at the river. And so born out of that inspiration, we created this program at Broad River. And it was like focused on five behaviors that they wanted everyone to do every single day. Uh, within this 75 hard program and it was really just an ignition like let's just kind of reverse course change the flywheel get it going in the other direction and generate momentum and so it's gonna be a little bit harder in the beginning to generate that momentum so you do have to kind of challenge yourself but it really starts with how you think about it and so that but but also here's the thing if you're thinking about 2025 and your goals for 2025 who says you have to wait till January 1st guess what now would be a perfect time to generate momentum going into the new year as you're thinking about where you want to be. Why not get a jump start on 2025 right now? I think whether you, you think that this year, 2024 is lost, you, you can still go win this year, however you define winning, whether that's in business or life, however you define it, the year's not lost. The, you still got five full months to go after it, but you do have to if you don't feel like you're winning, you're going to have to try something differently than what you're doing right now. You're going to have to kind of do something a little bit different. And it can just be one thing. You know, you've heard about the power of habit or James Clear atomic habits, which are these micro habits. You just got to change one thing, just one thing. I would encourage you to change one thing. But also, you're going to have goals next year. And a good way to like not have your goals for 2025 and before you get to February is to start now and get the flywheel going and get the momentum going. I, I, I can attest through personal experience, it's a great way to get a jump start on the year. You know, I talked uh, about the double win, the full focus from Michael Hyatt and Megan Hyatt Miller talked about on their podcast. And they talk about winning in like nine areas of your life, body, mind, and spirit, love, family, community, 
and money, work, and hobbies. And I was thinking about hobbies, maybe recreation. But I love those, like, breaking it down in these nine areas because, you, you know, and they say business or life, right? Career or, or personal. That's the double win, winning in both aspects. But then they said, really, it's these nine areas of your life. It's body, taking care of your body, your mind, making sure your mind is right, and you've got that mental health thing going, your spirit, your soul, you know, what your faith, love, family, and community. You know, your neighbors, your family, your, your immediate family, your extended family, your cousins, uh, however you want to define family, and then love, whether you're in a, you know, a loving relationship with, with a partner or spouse, um, or you're just inviting love in your life, you know, generally speaking. Uh, the people who, who, who are closest to you, your best friends, who certainly you have love for. Uh, and then money, work, and hobby. You know, money's very important. Uh, you know, to make sure that you invest your money in the work, the work that you do that brings meaning to, to what you do every day in your job. And, and then your hobbies or recreation. So I love breaking it down that way. So wherever you are in the year, you can take just one aspect of that and try to generate momentum. And so I just wanted to encourage you, here we are in August and it's not too late to win the year. It's not too late to get started on 2025 or even to be thinking about 2025. I had someone several weeks ago already ask me what I'm thinking about for the word of the year and he threw a good one out. So he, he's starting six or seven months out early. So but that's what it takes to kind of generate momentum. You got to try something differently. You got to get your mindset right. And, and don't think that it doesn't matter. It absolutely matters. And the trend matters. The, those first steps matter. Getting the flywheel moving is, is going to make a big difference. I, I've seen it work with our, our people who are excelling in our stores. We've got a certain store, uh, may, maybe two or three if I think about it, that are having the best year, and the stores that have been with us for well over 10 years, or you know, they're having the best year they've ever had at Broad River. That's inexplicable. That's inexplicable. Like 2021 or 2022 should have been the best year, but here in 2024, and it's all mindset and behaviors. It's all generating momentum when you know the proverbial pundits and smart money say, yeah, everyone should be down this year. It's a down year. Just don't worry about it. Next year will be better. Well, you don't have to wait for next year to be better. You can have be better like right now than you were before because you're only comparing yourself to your previous behaviors, your previous actions, and you're saying, you know what? I'm going to make a change. I'm going to set apart and do something differently with the vision of the goals that I set, and I'm going to go create and generate the momentum that I want to go after the goals that are really important to me. And those are the people who are winning at life and who can win in any sort of economy, any sort of however the wind's blowing or whatever kind of weather the scenario it is, they're the folks who you really want on your team who can go generate the momentum. And then what happens is they really generate momentum and it ripples out and they generate momentum for people around them. And that's how teams win. But you can have one person to who's going to be that ignition, that catalyst. And my question for you is, are you going to be that ignition? Are you going to be the catalyst for your team, for your family, for your community, for your neighborhood, for whatever you're focused on right now? Are you going to be the difference? And you can be. You know, it just takes one person who makes one decision that they're going to make a change. And they want to make a change. And then they then go act on making that change. And they want something different. So if you want different results, you got to go do something differently. And don't be afraid to have it challenge you you know if it doesn't challenge you it might not change you and it probably won't change you but if you want to have a change in your life or where you're going make challenge yourself and make yourself uncomfortable growth happens and doesn't happen in the comfort zone growth happens when you're uncomfortable and and that's the beauty of this thing because you get yourself uncomfortable you're unsure of yourself you think i don't know if i can do that and then you take a step forward and you get a little bit more confident Others encourage you to get a little bit more confident. Others see what you're doing. You get a little bit more confidence in yourself. And that one step in the, a different direction, in the right direction, in, in an exciting direction, is really all it takes to generate the momentum and to, to go where you're going to go. It doesn't matter what the scorecard is or where you are. Um, go be the ignition that you need. And so I would ask you and ask myself, if you're looking for some inspiration where do you want to be a year from now? Where do you want to be four years from now? How do, you, how do you see yourself? How do you see your career? And can you get excited about it being different than where it is right now? 
And you know what? You can change it. We can change it in our companies. We can change it with our, our individual lives. We can change it in any of these aspects in business and life. And it only takes one step. And guess what? That's the most exciting place to be when you're just getting started, when you're just starting to generate that momentum. And so here's the thing. In a couple of weeks, on August 14th, we're going to get to celebrate all of our home furnishings experts. We have 44 of them, and they're plus ones. We rented out Stake 48, uh, which is the elite uh, premier steakhouse in Charlotte. It'll be our third annual home furnishings expert soiree and premier partners event. So our partners fly in and come in for it. Our experts come in, our leadership team, and we're there to celebrate those who have generated momentum this year and who are having, in, in many cases, their best year yet, their first time ever to be an expert. And I'll be asking them, I, I'm curious, like I love asking that question, what's different, what are you doing differently? And I can promise you it's from their mindset and their behaviors. And, and so it's that difference right there, you know, between their two ears, they've made a commitment and a difference that they're gonna go have a winning year. And guess what? There's gonna be several others who are gonna cross the million dollar mark this year. And those who might not be on pace this year, they're going to cross this year because they're going to make a change, make a difference, and do something differently from here on out. And so you can make a change on 2024 from here on out. You just got to make that one decision to change. And you can get that momentum generated as you're going into 2025, as you're thinking about where you want to be this time next year, or even this time four years from now. Because if you think about it, this time four years ago, and I know it seems like a really long time ago, it was in the pits of the pandemic. And I can tell you, I was in a dark place. I was, you know, I was, I was languishing. I was worn out. My mental health, you know, was not great. And we were stuck with major supply chain issues and we were stuck at home and we were, um, yeah, yeah, it was the worst of, there was no, uh, vaccines. There was just isolation and we're, you know, seemingly felt isolated in many ways. And here we are four years later and the world feels differently. And like, even with a little bit of a softer economy, it's so much better than what it was four years ago. And if we can make that intentional decision, where can we be four years from now or one year, or even just take that back to one year from now? And it just makes that one change uh, today. And that's what I'm talking about to generate the momentum. So go be the flywheel, go generate the momentum. And then I'm going to see you on Thursday for how we sustain momentum. Thanks so much for joining us here at Stories from the River. Try to bring you fresh new content every Tuesday and Thursday. We're taking a break from our standard interview format for some solo episodes. So you can call it our summer series uh, with Charlie if you want. Um, whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. But if you would, leave us a comment on YouTube, Apple, or Spotify. Mash that like button or that subscribe button. And uh, if there's a topic you'd like to hear about, let us know. It may be a topic we pick up for a future episode. Thank you so much for joining us here on Stories from the River. Thanks for listening to Stories from the River. To check out more episodes, visit storiesfromtheriver.com. Join us again next week, and remember to like, rate, and subscribe to the podcast.